So we met at a coffee shop, and she's there early. I order my drink, sit down, and she looks at me, and this is her first sentence. Uh, let's cut to the chase. I need a father for my four sons. I got up and left. <laughs> Just like their actual fathers, eh? <laughs> No, oh, this is gonna be good. Tinder. This is an app that has dominated the online dating world for years now. Some people might be on here to make friends, others might be on here for a one night stand, while others may be on here searching for the love of their life. However, it seems like a lot of the dates that come out of Tinder don't exactly go to plan. Let's take a look at some of the not so romantic dates. I posted this a while back in a thread about Tinder. It was pretty spectacularly bad. I used it. I'm a fat, ugly bastard. I matched with a girl who wasn't too shabby looking. Texted her for a few days until we were both off. I picked her up and she was very cute. Went to dinner at a Japanese steakhouse and had a good time. Drank some sake. She suggested we go back to my place. Woo! We stop by her apartment to get her car and she wants to get clothes. She follows me to my house and we make out in my driveway for a few and start to move towards the house. I'm excited. Gonna get laid and all. Yes sir. Been a while. So we're on my front porch and she goes, Ooh, what's that? And points to this baseball sized toad that hangs out on my porch. This is his second year there. Anyways, I explain he is cool and I knock beetles off my porch light for him to eat and stuff. She walks over to him, looks at me, like intense eye contact contact and proceeded to slowly stomp on my toad. Now at this point, I was experiencing several emotions. Shock, anger, rage. I shouted at her, the fuck, why'd you do that? To which she replied, I wanted to make you mad so you'd fuck me hard. I was speechless while I processed what I had just witnessed. I told her to get the fuck off my property. She flips out. We yell back and forth. I sprayed her with the hose and she finally leaves, only to show up 20 minutes later topless on my deck in the backyard. She had walked from down the road and pulled like six pickets down from my fence to get in the backyard. Cops came, she cried her way out of trouble with them and left. Just picturing this guy spraying her with the hose. Or maybe spraying her with the micro -cop. She said she was voting for Ben Carson. She called her father, Daddy. She made me sit through an entire Joe Jonas song. Either that, or when I showed up to the bar and she just started talking shit about all her exes. And then she ended up making out with one dude and went home with another. This all happened within 20 minutes. Yeah, so, so we went to her place. We ate mushrooms and had sex. She was a biter, and it was like having sex with a giant spider. Needless to say, I didn't have a great time and she kicked me out. I sat in my car outside for like two long hours, tripping on mushrooms, trying to come to terms with what felt like dying. Woke up the next morning with large bite marks. Never do mushrooms with strange Tinder girls. Yeah, so he took me to Fifty Shades of Grey, and in the middle of one of the sex scenes, he proceeded to ask in a loud voice if I would let him do the same things to me. I could knock it out of there fast enough. I matched with an insanely hot guy. He told me he was a virgin, but figured I'd let it slide. We go to his place and he was super handsy and sucked at kissing. I decided it was over and I told him I had to leave. He hugged me at the door and said, I love you. I mean, I love your body. I got out of there so fast that I left my favorite cardigan. I have no desire to get it back. He made me watch his homemade rap videos and tried to like his own Facebook page on my phone. <laughs> That's just painful. Yeah, so she was lying about her age and wanted the baby immediately. Do go on. Well, Profile said she was 19 and she was really, really fucking hot. So I was pretty interested. We text, talk on the phone. She does cutesy, kind of immature stuff, but I blow it off, thinking she's just awkward and flirting. One night we're texting and she starts sending me pictures. You know, the kind. Sharpies were involved. So now I'm extremely interested in meeting up. She agrees, but on one condition, no kind. Condom. I'm curious about her medical history. I try to stay clean despite being a filthy man whore. So I ask when she last got tested. Oh, I haven't been to the doctor in a couple of years, she says. So I inquire how she has birth control, and of course she doesn't. 
Turns out, she saw that I was a single dad and just assumed I would be okay with siring out of the child. She was wrong. She got extremely upset and originally begged me to reconsider that she needed a child in her life. When I remained unwilling, she dropped the bombshell. She was 17 and more than willing to go to the cops about the pictures I had on my phone if I didn't give her a baby. Delete, delete, delete every fucking thing and block her left and right immediately. I don't have a Tinder anymore. The Sharpies went in her butt. I have a good deal of fetishes and, and anal play degradation is one of them. She knew this because of previous conversations. I didn't ask her to do it, nor did I ask for a single picture of it. I was just happy to receive hot pictures from what I assumed was a legal consenting adult. No comment. I have no comment for this one. So not only was the guy I met up with not the person in his pictures, he told me I looked different than what he expected and offered me gas money to leave. I'm just wondering what you'd have to look like for him to offer you money to leave. This maybe? Yeah, so I'm late to the party, but man do I have a doozy. So last year after getting out of a horrible sort of relationship, I decided to try something casual and use Tinder. Got lots of responses, everything is going well. The dates were mostly lackluster and I figured I was just being too picky. So I decided the next five people to ask me on a date gets a yes. Bad move. So the first guy I'm able to go on a date with wants me to drive into the city 45 minutes away so we would have more stuff to do. Annoying, but sort of understandable as I'm in a suburb without much exciting things going on. We meet, he looks like his pictures, we say hello, and he tells me that we're gonna go play soccer in the park. Cool, I love sports. On the way we start talking and asking questions about each other, and I'm getting the vibe we aren't such a great match. I love to travel, he has zero desire. He only likes obscure sports. I love them all, but hey, I'm here, stick with it. The entire time he talks about how he makes so much money and how embarrassing it is for his friend to only make 60k a year at his dream job. I make half of that. I would have left considering the love connection or lack thereof, but I figured I'd be polite until after lunch. We head out and we arrive. Dollar taco, which don't get me wrong, you don't have to splurge, but he looked me up and down and said, you gotta earn your meals first and gave me a creepy fucking smile. Nope, I feign a fake phone call and have to leave, but he insists on walking me to my car. We get there and I try to shrug him off and GTFO, but then it happens. He leans in for a kiss, but not just any kiss, open mouth, tongue out. And as he leans in, his crotch brushes against my leg. Unfortunately for him, the soccer shorts didn't conceal his raging hard on, so I did what any caught off guard girl would do. I accidentally laughed and his mouth. Oops. I was too awkward to say anything and just got in the car driving away. You know, if she had a bit more time to think about this, maybe she could have just pushed him away and said, uh, yeah, you know, you gotta earn your kisses first. <laughs> yeah, so the whole date he kept putting his hand over mine and cutting me off to say, you're so pretty. He asked me to stand and turn for him and told me not to talk politics. When I asked what his plans were for the rest of the week, he said he'd be introducing me to his family and maybe looking for a place to live together. I dodged the goodnight kiss and got very emotional texts from him for weeks after. I actually feel a good amount of pity for this guy. It's just sad. So I met with my Tinder date at a coffee shop. I ordered a latte while he ordered a coffee and six appetizers. When he got the last plate, he offered me some, but I declined. When the check came, he asked to split the bill and I assumed he was just joking. I didn't eat his food and the check was over a hundred dollars. When I realized that he was dead serious, I told him that I wasn't splitting the bill because I hadn't eaten any of his. He then said, so? That was your decision. I put down $10 and left. I met up for a coffee after having quite a nice chat over Tinder for a few days. He sits down and says, hey, nice to meet you. Then continues to pull out his laptop and sit there in complete silence for the next hour. I had nothing with me but my phone since I thought coffee date means conversation. Should have left sooner. Are you sure it was the same guy? Seems like he just sat down with some guy 
by the coffee shop. Yes, so this guy and I decided to hang out and he asked me to pick him up because he didn't have a car. That should have been my first clue. I went to pick him up and the first thing he did when he got in the car was pat my belly and say, A little too much beer, yeah. You're gonna have to lose that if we date. I kicked him out and got ice cream. So this guy dressed up like Superman, white button up over a blue Superman t-shirt, Clark Kent hair, glasses, and took me out to sushi. Though I told him several times that I was a vegetarian. At dinner, he spilled sake all over me. He also pulled out his digital camera to show me photos of the trip to Europe he had taken with his mother five years ago. And then while he was driving home, he told me his goal was to have a relationship like Leo and Kate in Titanic. I don't know what kind of movie this guy thinks he's living in but he's living in the wrong one. Yeah, so my first date with this guy would have been his cat's funeral. Luckily, I had the common sense not to take it that far. I had matched with a guy and we began to be hitting it off, so I gave him my cell number. And of course, he became increasingly strange. He was telling me about his cat and how he was worried about her because she was very ill. Okay, I understand having a sick pet is sad. Then he began to tell me about their relationship and how she was always there for him. Yup, I'm close to my animals too. That's fine. But then he began discussing how he doesn't know what to do if his cat dies. How he might kill himself unless I would be willing to take his cat's place. Um, no? After that, I stopped talking to him. He then starts messaging me furiously. He told me how his cat died and how he needs me to talk him through this. I express my condolences and try to shake him off. He then proceeds to explain how we should meet at his cat's funeral. I don't respond. I don't intend on becoming a skin suit anytime soon. His last text to me was an angry ramble describing in graphic detail how it was to eat his cat's ashes. He consumed his cat. I think that's enough. Okay, guys, that wraps up this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you subscribing and welcome. Sorry I haven't been uploading as much as I'd like to lately. Just been a bit busy with life. But I do appreciate all the support and any feedback you could give me would be great. And as always, if you could go follow me on Twitter or add me on Snapchat, that would be great. But I can tell you're getting bored and have better things to do. So I'll see all you bitch boys in the next one. Bye.